Hello everyone, my name is Liv and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing episode 4 of the reverse coloring book. And for page 1 here, I just kept it simple and I did some flowers. I did plan this page out beforehand. I usually edit my videos in VideoPad Editor as well, but I swapped over to the desktop version of CapCut and I was able to do some like transitions. I can zoom in on specific parts of the video without having those black bars and a bunch of other cool effects. So if you like this new style of editing and are enjoying the video, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. It helps out a lot. to make a flower bouquet but I didn't want all of them to be flowers I wanted some of them to be just random shapes this is probably my favorite flower I really like this one This little butterfly here, I wanted it to make the focal point, so I tried to make it stand out. And this is another little butterfly that I wanted to make a focal point. It's kind of like a bumblebee butterfly. I should have put stripes on it to make it look more like a bumblebee. And here I'm using my white gel pen to add highlights. The paper didn't really like the gel pen and just kept rubbing off so I did switch to using my white out pen. Just finishing off the page. For page two I thought the pattern in the background looked like closed flowers so I drew some closed flower buds and some rose buds too. I just like to use my black mica pens because the backgrounds are usually pretty colorful already so they don't need any more color but for this background I thought it would look nice with a little bit of colored pencil so I used my Crayola color pencils as a base color for the flowers I have Prisma, Arteza, and Derwent Academy watercolor pencils, and those are what I use to build up the layers of color. When it comes to color pencils, there's no beanie Prismas, but if you're looking for a cheaper alternative that works just as well, the Arteza brand pencils are great. They blend well, they give a nice soft texture, and they're a great range of colors, so I definitely recommend them. I will put a link to them below if you'd like to get them for yourself. I try 
try to match the background color with the color of the flower buds as well. And the page actually turned out so good that Jake wanted to put it in his office, so I'm really happy it turned out that well. Last episode, I mentioned that I wanted to try some Zentangle designs, so that's what I did for this page. Some cross hatches, zigzags, waves, things like that. I used some reference photos of different Zentangle designs to help me. point to the page so I drew this bunny as my focal point and I just thickened the lines up so that it's more noticeable that that's the focal point. two butterflies that are hidden somewhere on this page so let me know in the comments if you found them. I really like the first page. I think that's probably my favorite one just because I like the little highlights. I think it looks like a galaxy, the placement of them. They're all really good in their own way and I really liked how they all turned out. So thank you all so much for watching. Did you spot the butterflies on the last page? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe. 91.8% of you who watch my video are not subscribed, so make sure to do that and hit that bell to get notified every time I post a new video. I upload once a week, and stay creative. Bye!